Thank you. I think basically um, in the last five years, we've been doing a lot of restructuring and um, the results, results are coming out um, to fruition now. But um, last year was boosted by investment income substantially. Um, the top line went up by about 8%. And actually in terms of managing our claims and managing the underwriting expenses as well as um, the reinsurance expenses. But when you look at the, the sector, you realize that um, the blue ocean area of insurance business is yet to be tapped at all. So the only area that everybody is playing is just the small area that you are, you are still having. It's yet to actually blossom. But for us, we focus basically in the area of reducing cost, enhancing the top line as much as possible, and ensure that um, you have optimal results on your investment. So income. you're being conservative yourself too with we the others? We have been extremely, extremely conservative because the industry is yet to blow up. The industry needs to blow up. Number one, if you, if you look at the top line, the top line of all the insurance businesses put together is actually not up to the top line of one of the top banks in the country. So it's yet to actually, and also when you look at the total number of people that actually have um, insurance products at all whatsoever, whether it's life, whether it's um, um, personal, you'll find out that the, the number is completely infinitesimal. So mm -hmm. we, we are yet to get to a situation where we are actually going to we are going to tell you and say, look, if you look at the number of people that have BVN, can we tie that one to all the people that also have one product of insurance or not? Can we, if you look at the people that are registered with, uh, with our PFA, can we tie it down to the number of people that also have life insurance? I mean, we need to get to all that state. But for now, you have the total number of people that have any form of insurance at all in Nigeria is very, very minuscule. Okay, I'll just take you up on that. So you're referring to the insurance penetration in Nigeria. What can we do or what do you think needs to be done so we can boost that number up a bit? I, I mentioned that at the AGM today. There is a fundamental need, an urgent need for all the stakeholders to actually have a forum, and that involves the regulator itself. The regulator also needs to be brought in because there are a lot of things that the regulator needs to do. Then the, 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 the shareholders, the investors themselves, because there are some of the companies that um, the, the shareholders are not also living up to expectation. Any company that does not pay claims, it involves the shareholders as well as the regulator. Any company that does not pay claims should have no business being in that sector. So is that a big problem for the sector, claims? Very, very okay. serious problem. I, I had a chat, I went with the managing director to, to some of the top brokers, and I couldn't believe it that they're still having serious problem with claims. I actually did. I thought um, that was over about four or five years ago because there is a pronouncement on the, on the portal of the regulator that if you don't get your claims paid, all you need to send is just an email. And within seven days, so, the regulator will move in. So we have insurance companies who do not want to fulfill their own part of the bargain, even when they have people who have been you know, paying their month insurance paying, at a yearly off. or you know, premium at a yearly or you know, whatever yeah, the The reason why is. they are not fulfilling the, the, the obligation is probably because they don't have the capacity to do it. I thought there was consolidation a few years ago, so wasn't that supposed to help yes. reduce the number to make the industry stronger, a few strong players? Yes, it, 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 it goes beyond that. And, and that also, that's, there have been a lot of discussion about whether they need to increase the capital hmm. of insurance company. It's a very, as it, as, at, as it is today, it's a very capital inefficient sector. So the issue is not even just increasing capital. You, you, if you look at the industry, you have firms that have 15 billion naira capital and they are turning less than 500 million profit in a year. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any business sense. So what we, we, we believe is a situation where you have all the stakeholders. Number one, in terms of claims payment, you need to make sure, in terms of risk-based supervision by the regulator, in terms of the demands from the investors, in terms of the, what you need from the board members, in terms of what the operators themselves need to do. We need to all, all look at this. And then in terms of the education of the public, imagine a situation where you have an SUV and you, 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 you are not only a graduate, a graduate, you have a second degree. I'm talking of a typical middle class family and you have a top party insurance policy. It doesn't make business sense. You went to school, you studied business related course, you, you did risk management program. So, let it start from your life. Why would you have a five million naira worth of car and then you are doing a third party? That's just what five thousand yeah. naira. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it's, 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 it's hard though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's um, hard though. If we were to talk about that, about the financial education, I think we'll be here all day. But let's go back to the numbers. I see here that your investment income rose from about six hundred and eighty-seven million naira to nine hundred and twelve point five million naira last year. So that's a significant jump. What do you think drove this? Number one, the market was very positive to investment-related um, income for, for, for people that, I mean, for almost everybody. 
in terms of the kind of conservative approach that we adopted because the because of course basically we have not done anything extraordinary more than you manage your investment substantially in the in the money market in the fixed income area and and in the capital market and we actually didn't lose money it, it's one thing for people to actually make money on the investment mm -hmm. side but also to lose significant portion of it so i mean even if you don't do if you don't do jack last year and you had one billion to invest. There's no reason why you should not make minimum of 15% return. Well, we're going to have to leave it there. 